Hi! In this video, we are going to learn about using libraries. Libraries are pieces of code other people wrote and published for the use of others. I'll be using the NeoPixel library in this demo, but the general process should work for all particle libraries. First, open Workbench and create a new project. Next, find the library you want to use. Use the particle library search to find a library that interests you. I'm using the NeoPixel library for this tutorial. You can search for a particular library or browse the alphabetical list on the sidebar. Once you've picked your library, it's time to add it to your project. Open the command palette. You can use the shortcut Command Shift P for Mac and Control Shift P for Windows. Search for Particle Install Library. It'll ask you which library. Enter the library that you are using. Uh, again, for me, that's NeoPixel, but whatever library you want will work. Each library has the same basic structure. It contains source and example folders, as well as property, readmes, and license files. Examples is a folder that contains some example applications that reference your library. Source is where the magic happens. This is the folder that contains the actual library files. You can add subfolders to source if you have many files in your library. Library.properties includes descriptive information about your library and also specifies any dependencies. Readme is where the authors of this library tell you what they think is most important to know about the library. It usually contains very important information, so be sure to actually read it. License is the license agreement for the library. All right, now let's try out the example. Each library includes at least one example. We're going to try out the rainbow example for the NeoPixel. It'll make our NeoPixel flash the colors of the rainbow in quick succession. So we'll need to set the pixel pin to D6, the number of pixels to 24, and the pixel type to WS2812B. Now we need to configure the project for the device, and then we'll flash the code. So from the command palette, select Particle Configure Workspace for Device. Then select the device OS you're using. Now select the device type. Since I'm using a photon, that's what I selected. Choose your device from the list of devices, or type in the name. Now you're ready to flash the code. To send the code to the device, which is called flashing, click the lightning bolt in the top right of your screen. And your NeoPixel will start flashing different colors of the rainbow. If it doesn't work and you run into any errors, head over to community.particle.io and make a post. Thanks and happy hacking.